What's up, everybody? Uh, so doing a random, really random video that I'm sure won't get a ton of views, but um, I decided to do some analysis on 1959 top sets. So just my personal um, background on this. So I picked up my first 59 tops card ever. I didn't own any 59 tops cards uh, until 2016 at the Atlantic City uh, baseball card national. I picked up this card, uh, which is the Sparky Anderson, George Anderson rookie card, uh, which is one of the, there's only like three, like kind of bigger rookie cards in the set. So there's the uh, Sparky Anderson, uh, the Felipe Alou, which are not really big, you know, rookie cards. And then of course the Bob Gibson. And by the way, um, you'll see later on, uh, as to why I did a, a video for this, I have a brand new pickup of one of the, the biggest cards in this set, if not the biggest. But anyway, um, at 2016, I picked up this card. Uh, it was beautiful, got it graded, came back as a six. Um, looks even better than a six. But uh, anyway, this car, this set, um, I was never a big fan of it, um, but I don't know, it's sort of grown on me <laughs> over time. And I went from having, I think, like one card of, of this set in up until 2019 to having about like 150 cards uh, from this set. Uh, and so on, just over the last year. Uh, so I thought it'd be just kind of interesting to kind of break down what are the top 20 cards in terms of value. Uh, and I looked at uh, uh, grades in a six, seven, and eight, and did, did sort of did some analysis on what the top 20 cards are from that set, including sort of error cards as well. So um, at... Uh, before I get into that top 20, so this, uh, so it's a, it's a 572 card set and there are, like I said, three, you know, sort of bigger rookie cards, uh, only one hall of fame rookie and that's the Bob Gibson. Uh, but then there are a ton. So there are a ton of errors in this set, which, or variations, uh, which makes the set really interesting. So, uh, I just thought it was cool for Vito Valentinetti, uh, I have both of his variations. So if you look at this, so you, if you, if you see it, see where it says home Bronx, New York. Uh, and then if you look at this one, there is a colon next to home Bron Bronx, New York. So there are uh, a bunch of cards like this where there's a variation. So you have one variation, the other variation, there are many variations where the back is white and then the other, other back to the same exact card is gray. So, um, very interesting set. And then of course on the back you have the, uh, it almost looks like a Christmas tree, uh, green, red, and white. Uh, so it's a it really interesting, you know, a lot of these older cards, there's all kinds of errors and variations and uncorrected errors. So I just thought it would be interesting to point that out. Um, speaking of which at number 20, uh, so is this Billy Lowe's and you, you think, why would this be at number 20? But a Billy Lowe, so on the back, um, it says he was traded to Washington in March 1950, in 1959. Um, so the no, tr there is a variation that's, that doesn't mention anything about the fact that he was traded, um, in March 1959. And those, that card in a PSA six, uh, recently went for a hundred dollars <laughs> for a Billy Lowe's no trade uh, card variation went for a hundred dollars. So I have that at number 20 on my list. Uh, at number 19 is uh, the Yogi Berra. Uh, and he would go on, you know, the Yankees won the world series in 1958 and uh, Yogi Berra won um, one of his 10 world series rings in 1958. You can imagine uh, 10 world series rings, one for every finger, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, at number 18 is the uh, Eddie Matthews card, uh, which in a PSA 8 goes for about $450. Uh, he hit, went on to hit 512 home runs and was a uh, champion with the Braves in 1957. Uh, at number 17 is the Warren Spawn, uh, obviously Eddie Matthews' uh, teammate. Um, the, there's actually an error on his cards that says that he was born in 1931 when he was really born in 1921. Um, a PSA 7 goes for as much as $200, um, and a PSA 6 goes for about $110. Uh, at number 16 is uh, the Harmon Killebrew, uh, which 
is PSA 8s, uh, recently sold for $425. Um, he went on to hit 573 career home runs. Um, at number 15 is the Roy Campanella, which I think is one of the coolest cards of the set, uh, is the symbol of courage. Um, Campanella, widely considered one of the greatest catchers ever, uh, but he was part of a near fatal car accident in 1958, uh, which paralyzed him from the waist down. And this is sort of a, a card that just kind of shows that, you know, the, the courage of uh, dealing with something like that. And um, these cards in a PSA 7 go for about $185. Uh, and number 14 is the Yankees team card, uh, which... Uh, of course, the Yankees won the World Series in, in 1958, and um, the PSA 6s go for about 115 PSA 7s go for $180. Uh, at number 13 is the Willie Mays All-Star Game card, um, and a PSA 8 recently sold for $450. Uh, Mays uh, went on to play in 24 consecutive All-Star Games. And, oh, by the way, um, I don't have the Yankees team card, but I do have this Run Preventers card, <laughs> which is not that impressive. But McDougal, uh, Turley, and Richardson. So, I don't know. Figured I'd point that one out. Uh, number 12 uh, is the Mickey Mantle card. Um, hit Him hitting the 42nd home run of the year. He led the league with 42 home runs. Um, he had a duel with Rocky Colavito, um, who went on to hit 41 that year, uh, and actually would go on to win the home run, um, crown in 1959 with 42, Rock Rocky Colavito would. At number 11, uh, Roger Maris, uh, his PSA 8, uh, will go for about $520. Uh, this is his final season before he became a Yankee, and he's, uh, featured there with the Kansas City Athletics. Uh, at number 10 is the Billy Pierce card. Um, so the reason why this card is um, a top 10 card, uh, by the way, his the PSA 7s for this will go for about $210, um, is that it is the final card in the set. It is card number 572. And um, I guess what's interesting about, uh, you know, the so there's, um, I think, I forget. Let me see. It, oh, it's at uh, 501, I believe, is the last card that has the red and green. So for anybody that has these cards, uh, when it goes to 502, that's when the, the high numbered cards uh, start for this set. And you'll notice that the coloring on the back changes uh, as it goes from 501 to 502. So that's how you know that these are the high numbered cards. Uh, so uh, otherwise, it looks exactly the same. But on the back... Uh, the color changes. Uh, I don't have the uh, the Billy Pierce, uh, but I do have uh, the Bill Scourin. And uh, again, you can see that the, the color kind of changes on the back. So this is card number 554. Uh, this is the Roy Seavers, which is 566. And uh, Gus Triandos, which is card number 568. Uh, so, as I was saying, the Billy Pierce card, because it's the final card of the set in high grade, will go for a, a lot of money there. Um, at number nine is uh, this card, um, which is kind of shocking. The, the PSA 7s will go for about uh, $260. Um, it is one of the most sought-after uh, variations. Uh, and I guess it's just pretty simple. It's it's the... Um, the variation is basically, see how there's the, the copyright there uh, down down here? Um, there is no circle around the copyright um, on the Hayward Sullivans. Uh, that is the variation. So um, it's a, one of the most sought-after variations going for about $260. Um, at number eight is the Stan Musial, uh, which in a PSA 8 will go for about $424. Uh, it's his... Uh, the first time he was ever featured on a Topps card was in 1958. Uh, at number seven is the Sandy Koufax, um, which goes for over a thousand, which recently went over for over a thousand dollars in a PSA eight. It's crazy to think that he had a 4.48 ERA in 1958. Uh, and then in 1962 is sort of when he, when he took off in terms of just unbelievable performance. Uh, at number six uh, is the Roberto Clemente. 
Uh, still, you know, a young guy in 58, figuring things out. Uh, his first All-Star appearance was in 1960. His PSA 7 uh, recently sold for $335. Uh, PSA 6s go for as much as $230. Uh, at number five is the Mickey Mantle All-Star card, uh, which goes for about, recently went for $1,225. Um, in a uh, PSA 8. Uh, at number four is a card that I do have, uh, which is the Willie Mays. Uh, unfortunately, this is in a PSA 3. Um, but this card in a PSA 8 goes for, o goes for over $2,000. Um, and one of the things that I think thought was really interesting is that the Mays Baseball Thrills, uh, which commemorates uh, the catch, you know, the Willie Mays catch, um, in an eight sold for $150. That might be a, a pretty undervalued card. But anyway, this is the 1959 Tops Willie Mays. Um, and like I said, PSA sevens go for about 400 bucks. And in a PSA eight, they really go crazy for about like over two grand. Um, at number three is the, uh, the, the Hank Aaron. Um, and those go for about $600 in a PSA seven. Uh, this was the fourth All-Star game for him in 1958 of the 25 All-Star games he was in. Uh, at number two is sort of sort of the reason why I decided to make this video, uh, which is a beautiful, this is my recent pickup, just got it uh, in the mail, the 1959 Tops Bob Gibson. This one is in a PSA 6. And um, these go for um, as much as like almost $900 if they're like perfectly centered in a PSA 6. Uh, this one I got for about $775. Um, just uh, <laughs> look at this card. It is unbelievable. Um, you know, on the back of these cards, and you can see this is a high numbered set because it's, it's not the, the Christmas colors. But then the, each one of these cards has like this little cartoon. But uh, it says here, Bob's nickname is Hoot, which... I never even was aware <laughs> that he was uh, nicknamed Hoot, but um, some people refer to this as the Pepto Bismol card uh, because of the uh, the pink coloring, like uh, or bubblegum coloring on the background. But just a uh, beautiful card from the uh, 1959 top set, <clears throat> the only Hall of Fame rookie in the set, um, and. Uh, I also wanted to point out that he had a he had a 1.12 ERA in 1968. That is insane. A 1.12 ERA. So there you have my most recent edition. And of course, um, if you guys watch my channel, you know uh, number one uh, in the set is or the card that goes for the most in the set is the 59 tops. Uh, Mickey Mantle, and uh, you guys know I got this last year in a PSA 8, which is kind of insane. Uh, this card, for some reason, still goes for the most, uh, more than the Bob Gibson, uh, but these are two just beautiful cards. So number two and number one in terms of uh, what cards go for in that set, uh, Mickey Mantle's uh, in a, you know, even in a PSA 7 go for like two grand, in a PSA 8 go for as much as $5,000. So uh there you have it, guys. Just thought it would be interesting to do uh, some analysis. Let me do show you guys a quick view uh, of the cards that I have from this set, uh, just, just to give you guys a view into it. All right, guys. So here is a final view into the 572 card set, uh, which I don't have anywhere close to all 572, but... Um, but definitely more than I used to have, which used to be one <laughs> or zero before the uh, the national in 2016. So um, not going to go through every single one of these cards, but you can see here is a bird's eye view of the cards that I do have. So just kind of strange how sometimes like you go from not having a single card from a particular set to all of a sudden owning like over a hundred of them. <laughs> so. Uh, pretty cool. And then, of course, uh, the high numbers start down here somewhere. And then on to the, the final cards, which are the sporting news cards. So really cool set. Uh, it's definitely grown on me. And uh, anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys as I was doing my analysis of the 1959 top set pretty randomly. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you.
Later. Peace. Sophia, what do you think of this that I have on the ground? There's too many bobs. There's too many bobs? Wait, really? Okay. Bob, Bob, Bob. No, 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 Bob. Um, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Bob. Maybe they should change this set to, the, to the Bob set, maybe? This is all Bobbies. There's too many Bobs. <laughs> What are you saying, that I made a mess down here? Yes, because there's too many bombs. <laughs> Get more bombs. Destroy the world. Oh, jeez. <laughs>